So this is how to take a 4017 decade counter under here and make it run for one cycle, like so, um, using one input, single event input, and run through its cycle and then stop. So what I did to make this thing go was I ran a 555 timer chip into pin 14 um, to give it a, a pulse, and uh, I took pins 3 and ran it up to clock enable and to reset. And I have a button that uh, connects reset and clock enable to ground. And so what I do is I hit this once and clock enable and reset go low. They're connected to ground just for a moment. And that's enough to um, start this thing cycling. It overwhelms the output from uh, pin 3. Um, so in a bit more detail, I think what happens <laughs> is um, after this uh, 4017 runs through its, um, its full cycle, it counts and then counts to 10, and then output 0 here. So it's pin 1, 2, 3. Output 0. Is, uh, goes high, and when it goes high, it um, stays high. <laughs> it stays high because of the nature of the chip. Um, what does that mean? It stays high, and then as long as clock enable and reset are pulled high, the chip is disabled. When clock enable and reset are set high, the chip will not work and pin 3 will continue to put out a high output. So this cycle, or whatever, this, um, this setup enables the, the pin 3 to hold the chip um, in a static mode until you push the button. Push the button once, it runs through, counts through its full count up to 10 and then stops just like that.